Happy Friday, everyone. Brooklyn Menace back with the Friday Night Arcade Show, the late night show for the home arcade community. Tonight is an extra spooky night. We have the Night of the Demons one quarter challenge going down. Four of us will enter, but only one will live and make it to the end. Who will survive? Find out tonight. We also have more of Papa Brad Presents and Rare Gems with Steps Gaming. What's up to everybody that showed up in the chat room early? I always appreciate it, and I'm glad to see you all here. Another person I'm happy to see every Friday is yeah. my man. What's up? Happy it's Friday, up, Papa Brad. This is like the most metal show ever. These games are fire, dude. I can't wait. Yes. I uh, brought out my uh, inner horror producer for this episode yeah, tonight. That's great, man. Wow, what an intro, man. I'm so stoked. Yes. Let's also say happy Friday to Steps Gaming. Hey, hey. how's Steps, it going? How are you? Happy Pretty Friday. Pretty good. Pretty you good, ready man. For this challenge tonight? I think so. I think we prepped. <laughs> man, I hope I survive past the first round. Because we have four great games we're playing tonight. And I don't even know which one we're playing first. We have a, a wheel's going to be picking the games. But we'll see. Someone that yeah, I know yeah. wants to make it to the end is Nix. Happy Friday, Nix. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo! How's Are you ready doing? for this terrifying challenge tonight? Man, oh, I'm terrified. Here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to knock you out in the first round. Well, we don't oh, know. Yeah. I mean, because there's no order to the games. Some of these games are really difficult. And it depends on what gets picked first. Because the way it's going to work on this one quarter challenge tonight, if you have the lowest score, it's RIP for you. You're done. You're out. You're out. We were supposed to have our good friend of the show and mystery man, my family, here tonight. He was here uh, chilling out with me earlier, but he, he's just not going to make it tonight. He's wiped. So it's just going to be the four of us in the challenge. So he's already RIP and done. I'm not saying anything. All right. Mm -hmm. They Let's want go. the bubble bobble music back. I know they I do. The I'm bobble spilling bobble my music. freaking do, do, beer. Do, 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 I spilled do, do, my beer do, do, twice do, do, already do, do, tonight. I just spilled it all over myself while oh, I was gesturing. You see what you guys stuff. do to me when nobody <laughs> says anything? We're messing you up, Brooklyn Menace. We're messing you up, man. Yeah, so how's everybody's week been? Oh, well, it's been fantastic. Mine been has been uh, filled with gaming on the i arcade i mean it's just crazy man every day it just keeps getting better and better i've been playing attack from mars on a otg with the 4k yeah. pinball they have a yeah i've been um, i got to pick the table pretty excited about it it's fun since i fixed my my flipper button because for the longest time my right flipper button would just work when it wanted to mm -hmm. and i got those gold leaf buttons and it's it's great now everything's working i can play and i've just been enjoying the hell out of that pinball machine see i got uh i don't know yeah you can see it there in the background i got spooky up which kind of goes with the theme table. tonight i know it's a spooky show papa brad has infinite live versions of the roms <laughs> says mm, Tony yes, C. He does. <laughs> i hope so brad as i said earlier we always appreciate anybody that shows up early and all the people that stick around to the end uh why don't you give a shout out to everybody hanging out in the chat room right, tonight? all right a massive friday night arcade show shout out to richard dello shotgun sean jason lily alien glad you're here tony c who says papa brad cheats at video games let's see who else we got in here we got mitchell b we have a smoke break who made an awesome YouTube video I watched yeah. earlier tonight. Good yeah, really job on good. that video up on the uh, Mia board. Really enjoyed that. Great video of smoke break. I, I've been chatting with a smoke break a lot, you know, uh, through Discord. And uh, smoke break, 
Gio Nino's. He's got the open invitation to the show. Yeah, so any Friday cool, man. I'd love to that he him. wants to come, him hang show. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's down. So any Friday he wants to come, hang out. Um, Hell yeah. I'll send him over the link. If he wants to jump into the one quarter challenge, even better. Yeah, even better. We got a Dark Realm Gaming. Good to see you, bud. We got an Ichabod Crane here. Mitchell B., welcome to the show. Always a killer intro. Man, nobody does intros like Brooklyn Menace. Absolute fire. Um, we got Silent J. Welcome to the show. Yep, shout out to Brooklyn. Keeping the intro under 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm known for the long intros. But yeah, it, it just kind of gets me in, into the mood and gives me oh, time, yeah. you know, drink a little beer. That's right, man. Get into the get into the flow of the show. It's the best part of the show because you do such a good job, and they're always different. That's yeah, maybe I'll work. just make the entire show an intro. <laughs> Dude, I have so much edited stuff for this show tonight. Little I know it's gonna be so. awesome. I can't wait to see what you came up with. Fun. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, put bubble bobble music. Is that into everybody? The intro. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Clawson, welcome mm. to the show to die for. Clean like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did that like a pirate, man. That's right, man. He's clean like a mother. <laughs> Brad, we yeah, have Mikey uh, D. Welcome, to the, welcome to the uh, show, Mikey D. We have That's our. Cool. We also have a, a special segment tonight because mm-hmm. we both have our send in light guns hooked up That's right, and man. ready to go. We're gonna play we're gonna the have most a, most uh, controversial game of all time. But it fits with the theme tonight. We're gonna be it playing does. Chiller it does. It does. and does. Zombie Raid. Uh, both completely different style light gun games. Chiller is a trip. Uh, if oh you haven't goodness, seen that before, dude. I can't wait to get to see it on the show it's tonight. It's an experience. Yeah, it's unlike any other light gun game that you've probably seen before. But uh, Brad and I are going to be going head to head. We're going to add up the score of both light gun games and see who can come out victorious in that. I can't wait. I, light gun games are some of my favorite. And having the ability to play so many of them now and then working so yeah. well, uh, it's been great. Oh, it made the sin in purchase brighter and brighter. well Every worth it. Every day it just gets better and better. Dude, I was it's happy just with the, the Operation Wolf community. and Operation Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm. But it's, you know, how many times can you just play those two games? But it, it was a great start. And now we just have so many. Mm-hmm. Uh, great like on games that are working really well. Some not working as well, but at least the ones that I want to work well. There's plenty are, of good ones. Doing great. Plenty of great games to play. I like shows to have beginnings, endings, middles. You know, and and look at the four of us. When we're not much for for chatting, Mm-mm. so wow. you know we gotta have stuff to to fill it out. I know. I'm 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 ready to get thrown in the game, coach. <laughs> You know what I'm ready to do, Brad? We we have a lot of we have a lot of gaming to get to tonight. But we also have your segment, Papa Brad presents. Brad, what do you have going on? Man, I got a I got a good one. I got oldie but a goodie. We're gonna check out a classic from Sega. One of my favorite old school Sega games, and it's uh, themed to Universal Monsters. And let's check it out, Brooklyn. Welcome to Papa Brad presents Monster Bash. Welcome to my humble laboratory. I'm happy to see you made it here tonight in spite of the nasty weather. (laughs) You could say I've created a monster. (laughs) A monster bash to be exact. A fantastic new video game that will scare unsuspecting subjects of all ages into playing it. (laughs) (laughs) Monster Bash tasks the player with defeating Dracula, the Frankenstein monster, and Chameleon Man? What the heck, Sega? Who's ever heard of Chameleon Man? Developed and manufactured by Sega, first released to Japanese arcades in January 1982 was additionally brought to the United States later of that same year. 
To understand Monster Bash, we need to start with Sega's early years. Founded in 1960, Sega was originally an amusement and slot machine company. It wasn't until the late 80s that they seriously ventured into the video game industry. The first two screens take place in Haunted Manor's fighting against Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. The third takes place in a garden fighting against Chameleon Man, which sort of breaks the whole movie monster thing that the first two bad guys had going for them. Each has some sort of gimmick to aid or complicate movement. Dracula's stage has paintings that warp around the screen. Frankenstein Monster's level has pits which immediately drop you to the lower level, and the Chameleon's Garden has gates which flip up in different directions, plus color swaps which will reveal the location of the villain. Upon completing all three screens, the game loops and the difficulty increases. To attack, Little Red has Zap Power, which lets him shoot little lightning bolts, but these only work against the lesser enemies. While the sole boss monster in each screen is invincible. However, each screen also has a sword. If you light all the candles, it will glow and grant a super zap that can kill the main bad guy and let you proceed to the next stage. Monster Bash is a platform arcade game that was released by Sega in 1982. The player must use a four-way joystick to take control of a man called Bashman, although he's frequently referred to as Little Red on the US flyer for the game. The first stage takes place in the mansion of Count Dracula, where Bashman, Little Red, must zap the defending bats while lighting four candles to energize the magic sword. When Bashman touches the magic sword, while it is energized, he will gain the super zap power. Which is the only way you can kill Count Dracula. Once he has done so, he will move on to the castle of Frankenstein's monster. In the castle of Frankenstein's monster, he must zap the defending wolfmen, who can crouch down to avoid getting killed. While lighting additional candles to energize the game's second magic sword, and gain the super magic power again. Which is again required to kill Frankenstein's monster. Once he has done so, Bashman will move on to the graveyard of Chameleon Man. What? Chameleon Man? Man, talk about cheated. You have you have Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman, and then the end boss of each stage is Chameleon Man? Interesting choice, Sega. There's a reason this game is obscure. Let's move on to the Chameleon Man stage, where he must zap defending spiders and light a single candle in the crypt to energize the game's third and final magic sword. However, Chameleon Man has the ability to change his color and become invisible. Bashman must walk over the three color change spots on the left side, right side, and bottom of the screen to change the color of the background and make Chameleon Man visible again. Much like Count Dracula and Frankenstein's monster, Chameleon Man can only die after Bashman has touched the magic sword. I must touch the magic sword! <laughs> once, the touch, once he touches the magic sword and it's energized, you gain the super zap power. Once he has done so, the game will begin again at a more challenging difficulty. And that is the gameplay of Monster Bash. And there you have it, the fascinating history of Sega's Monster Bash. May not have reached the same level of fame of some of uh, Sega's other arcade titles, <laughs> But the game holds a special place in the hearts of those who've experienced it and love it. This has been Papa Brad reminding you to always stay legit. That looks like a, a fun one. I wonder Dude, if I have that. I snuck, I snuck a little Daphne in there. Were you surprised? It was it was good. It worked well with the video. It did because it's all about getting that magic sword, man. The whole game is the whole game is based around that. But uh, man, I love that game. So much fun. Always, always played a lot around Halloween. Yeah, I want to try that one out. That I can definitely say I've never played that one. I know about mm -hmm. that game. Um, I remember when that was the Carlo game of the week. Yeah, it's definitely a retro game, man. It's a retro game. Yeah, it, it looks like fun. 
Yeah, uh, Carlo was the one that turned me on to it. Uh, I'd never played it before he talked about it. it and, it's uh, super retro kind of looking. I fell in love with it. Man, it's like a super retro game. They, they like kind of tried to bank off of everything that was popular at the time. But it's just like, <laughs> like a, a low popular. budget version of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like ladders are popular. Uh, Frankenstein. They were just like throwing stuff at the wall like that was cool, you know? To, what would you do in a game without ladders, Brad? You, you couldn't get up anywhere, right? You would just I know, be I mean, like, stuck. Yeah, you all games have, have to have ladders, don't they? Yeah. Oh, man, don't go back into that ladder stuff, man. That yeah, was... They, <laughs> well, I mean, they did have four different screens and four different kind of theme motifs they came up with, so it was pretty cool. Gotta have ladders and game steps. By the way, steps. Yeah. Let's get right into it. What sure. do you have going on tonight? Well, I am going to talk about a game called Ninja Savior's Return of the Warrior, and I uh, really enjoyed playing this game uh, about five years ago on the Nintendo Switch when it came out in 2019. And I heard about it from watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Happy Console Gamer. And so uh, that's when I was thinking of uh, games to talk about this week. It, it came to mind and I went ahead and said, hey, let's go with it. But I should have probably picked a monster game. But this is a ninja game. So <laughs> there you go. Well... Even though it doesn't go with the theme, let's check it out. Ninja Savior's Return of the Warrior. In a world shrouded in the shadows and chaos where danger lurks in every corner, only the bravest warriors can rise to the challenge. Today, we embark on an epic journey with Ninja Savior's Return of the Warrior and compare it to the original Ninja Warriors for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The Ninja Warriors for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System is a classic side-scroll and beat-em-up game that was originally released in 1994. It is an enhanced and expanded port of the original arcade game, The Ninja Warriors, which was released in 1987. Which brings us to 2019, when Ninja Savior's Return of the Warrior, a modern remake of the classic arcade game, was developed by Taito and released on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. In the year 2023, a port to the Steam for PC was released as well. The graphics are very uh, reminiscent of the original Super Nintendo version, and the Super Nintendo version graphics were praised for the time, looking very, very good for Super Nintendo, almost as good as a Neo Geo game. This game is often compared to Neo Geo beat-em-ups, and the modern remake takes no exception to that. It stays true to these graphics. Obviously, you could see a little bit of increased detail, the widescreen format, additional weapons and items on screen as well not only that with this experience with the updated visuals but you also get a remastered soundtrack the music retains the memorable tunes from the original game but improved audio quality adding to the overall nostalgia and enjoyment of the experience now this game also stays true to the original by offering the three original characters to choose from, but it also adds a bonus of two additional roster characters. The three original characters that you could choose from uh, are Kenochi, which is a female ninja you can see currently playing on the screen, Kamatashi, a ninja with a pair of sickles, excelling in both offense and defense, and Ninja, a classic ninja with a katana offering a balanced play style. We'll talk more about these characters in a little bit. Players can perform special moves and attacks unique to each character, including powerful melee strikes and long-range attacks. The game encourages players to master these moves to efficiently dispatch enemies. The Ninja Warrior is known for its challenging boss battles. Each boss battle has a unique set of attacks and patterns requiring the players to strategize and time their movements effectively to emerge victorious. Here we have Kamatachi, the ninja with a pair of sickles that we talked about earlier that excels in both offense and defense because he's that damn good. You can see how 
awesome it is to play with his weapons there as obviously you could get them to do a 360 slash go back and forth things like that and then this here pictured is another level while we're playing with the same character where he has jumped into a uh, mech vehicle and you're going through the level in a different manner this time this is i believe is the fourth level and you could attack as a mech warrior adding to the differences in gameplay throughout the game. Here's one of the additional characters that were added to the game uh, with the remake. Uh, I don't typically enjoy playing this smaller female character. She doesn't seem to have as strong attacks or be able to take hits as well. Um, but I'm sure people have mastered her pretty well and uh, do a good job. It just wasn't typically a good character choice for me. And here we go back to one of the original characters, Ninja, who is kind of, it's kind of ironic because normally when you think of ninjas, you think of slender uh, people who are very mystical and very able to uh, keep out of sight. This character is definitely not that. <laughs> definitely a bigger Zangief-like character, uh, slower attacks, more powerful attacks definitely fun to play really enjoy this level here and the scenery ninja saviors return of the warrior has generally received positive reviews for successfully blending its nostalgia with modern gaming elements fans of the original arcade title and super nintendo title will appreciate the faithful recreation of the classic gameplay while newcomers will be drawn to their engaging combat and cooperative multiplayer features Overall, Ninja Savior's Return of the Warrior is a uh, tribute to the classic beat-em-up genre. Wow, Steps. You're introducing me to a whole new bunch of games that I want to play with your uh, segment. <laughs> really? That's cool. Yeah, Rare Gems. That's a cool one. Oh, I see it Brad is. is already ready. So <laughs> if Brad wants to go first, because I was actually going to volunteer to go first. Cause I'm, I'm, it's Friday. I'm ready to start gaming and uh, going against you. First, I'm going to take on Brad in this scary Lyco challenge. There he is. It's already it. cranky as sound. Right, so, I'm back now. Brad is, Brad is, seems like Thanks he's ready to go. So here's what's going down. We have uh, a light gun challenge on the I arcade. It's going to be Papa Brad versus me. First, we're going to be playing Chiller. We'll add that score up. And then we're going to be playing Zombie Raid. Two great light gun games, two horror theme light gun games. And we'll add the score up. Highest score is going to take it tonight. But don't worry, Brad. If you, if you beat me tonight, man, we got plenty of more light gun challenges ahead of us. I, I, don't, know if, <laughs> I don't know if that's Brad. <laughs> Just drunk in the background, or but he seems like he's ready to go. So let's get right into it. Go for get it. Get ready, Brad. You're going down. This is the light gun challenge.
All right, Brad, play your game. Here he goes. This is an interesting Lego game. Oh, yeah. came to play tonight. Now, I don't know if Brad can hear us. Hopefully not. You have to pay attention to those pictures because those that's noise. what you're aiming for. <laughs> those noises are so bad, man. <laughs> the creator of this game, Jeffrey Dahmer? Man, this is twisted. I've never seen this before. Oh man, I might be in trouble. I came to play tonight. Uh oh. May get a slot machine now. Alright, he's made it to the hallway. Two seven oh five. Put your uh, put your name in so we can confirm your score. Score for Brad. He's starting out really well tonight. Let's see if he'll know to switch over to zombie raid now. 
There he is. He's got it. Yeah, this game makes you put in your name before you play. That way, if your score sucks... <laughs> oh man, I think he put Pap in there. Fire type. What year is this, Brooklyn? That it came out. This looks like to me, I'm not sure either, late 90s or probably early 2000s. Now, in, in this game, you don't know what your score is until the end. Oh, really? Everything. Well, not exactly. Uh, See? <laughs> well, not that, but shoot the tombstones. Maybe Don't shoot the innocent. Yeah, you can shoot the tombstones. Now, whether they give you points or not, I don't know. Oh, yeah. But I'm going right. for the tombstones. I'm going for everything because Brad apparently came to play. Life, there you got life. Oh, oh man, I got the life. That's it for Brad. Let's see what he got. Two zero zombie raid. Oh, right, so, so nineteen ninety five. I have a uh, both of Brad's scores in the chat room. As I get ready, Brad, kill your game sound. I'm about to jump in and see if I could beat Brad's score in both games. All right, Brad, kill your uh, camera. And I'm switching over. All right, over. can y'all hear me? Oh yeah. All right, man, what an what an amazing what an amazing uh, set of games. That was fun. Yeah, it looked fun, like fun, definitely. See how Brooklyn does. Dude, I I I feel like dirty after playing that. Yeah, the, the first, first game. game. Oh yeah, that's God. pretty. That's pretty sadistic. You just <laughs> when you, you do when you do the rack and it pulls them apart and then you you lower them into like the uh, water and the the person gets eaten. That that that's crazy, man. Yeah. The the game looks like sadistic and perverted at the same time. Look at this man, Brooklyn going for the two camera setup, showing off that sending gun. He's ready to play. Yeah, I, I have a feeling I'm the, in trouble. I know. I know. Can't Brooklyn wait for the viper play. Board so I can get my light gun games. Going. I want to see if he can get further on Chiller than me. I haven't. I haven't seen past that screen oh. of that. I want to see past that. <laughs> wow! Listen to those. I feel like I'm in a uh, horror movie. Yeah, this game has an interesting history. Um, when they developed it, uh, they basically told them to go for broke. 
it made it so controversial that uh, even the arcades were afraid to put this uh, out on the floor. His parents would be like, I write. See little Billy walk up to Chiller and operate a guillotine to rip something up and the black is on fire. We have a monster meter trying to kill monsters. There's all kind of cool tricks in every level. A little picture gives you some hints of some things to shoot. Brooklyn is punishing, punishing these uh, poor victims. Good shooting. Oh, you almost ran out of time, Brooklyn. Oh. Hey, Brooklyn Menace almost ran out you of time. You better start getting your game on his, here in the next round. His first round. level was almost oh. his last. Yeah. But uh, he did pull off. I hope you're hearing us, Brooklyn. Now, we Get see your a game up. things for him to shoot. Oh, look, you could pull the, the body apart. You wasted too much time on that vice. Yeah, the vice is hard. I don't know. Yeah, he's gonna waste too much time on that one too. He's gonna keep shooting that. And shoot but the other ones, bro. It's, it's so rewarding watching the crocodile come up and just chop that body like that. They suck you in. They suck you in. Get that rack going. The rack is pulling the bodies apart. Someone's flipping through YouTube and they just like they just jump into the stream and they're like, what the heck am I watching? What kind of demented stuff is this? Got through the monster meter, that means he gets to the third level. Yeah, but his score is still low. He's freaking got to go, man. He's got to pick a good level this time. It's on the hallway stage. Torture chambers first, rack room. Now he's in the hallway. Yeah, pay attention. You gotta shoot. I didn't know what to shoot. Oh! Oh! Brooklyn's been playing this all week. He knows exactly what to shoot. He knew about the trap. Oh, you gotta shoot the trap to get the pig. Try shooting the floor and the pig probably falls in the trap. Wow. See, Brooklyn Menace studied this game. He did his background. Brooklyn knows the tricks. I didn't even know that. Keep going. Possible. There's 32 left, Brooklyn. There's just still a lot to shoot. Famous for games like Crossbow, Cheyenne. Now, oh, That's game over. Close. No, game boo over. words, dope. Is it 9,520? Yeah. You got like, a, well, like 11. Uh, what'd you get? You got, let's go back. What'd you get? Someone put it in the chat. I'm looking. <laughs> Moving on to zombie raid. He had twelve seven oh five. Twelve seven oh five. So you're in the lead by like three thousand points raid. almost, right? In the lead by a little bit. He's he's got he's he's got to kill it here, pretty much. He's he's got a he's got to score, um, pretty much nine thousand points in this game, pretty much. Next, so he's got to go. I mean, I still can't imagine I'm playing these games on my arcade. How cool is that? Well, I can't wait to do so as well with the Viper board, man. When, yeah. when, when got to get, get that Viper. Going.
this game, you use the pump action of the Sendin to reload the gun. So you're constantly reloading the gun. Definitely gotta time those reloads. Yeah. A lot of these games, too, if you play them more, you get some familiarity with where the enemies pop out of. And just like casually playing it, you know, pretty much know where to put the enemies where you're not looking. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Nix? Absolutely. He played it smart there. He just yeah, didn't bother shooting the did. gate until he shot all the enemies. He did. Yeah. That, move, that werewolf was super jacked. According to Mikey D. I had no idea about the tombstones, then I started focusing on the tombstones and didn't mess me up. There are enemies that take your life if you hit them too. You gotta be careful, you don't want to hit the monsters. And it is interesting, this game does not show a score until the game's over. That's kind of interesting. Focus on the action. Focus on the action. That's right. You need to focus on the action. You had a good run on the bank panic today, Nix. I did. That is definitely a twitch reflex game. See, there's the guy. I, I, I filled that guy full of holes. I was just shooting everything that moved, Nix. That's probably not the best strategy. He's got the shotgun. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the power. Yeah. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's not shotgun Sean, it's shotgun Brooklyn. He's taking him down. One shell at a time. He's taking him down one shell at a time? Or one, one shell at a time? Shell at a time. <laughs> I gotta get that shotgun back. I'm in trouble because I bet you this game scores higher. Uh, I think it scores a little bit lower. It's getting really far. But he's doing really well, so he's I would worry. Up the gap. Shoot that bar. Shoot the bar on that tombstone in front of you. Like, keep waving yourself in front of you. There's something there. Just scream it tomorrow night on our game talk. We still got half a life bar left. Got way further than I got this game. I should have practiced this. I only, I only practiced Chiller a little bit. I didn't play this one hardly at all. Brooklyn is, uh, but showing how oh, it's no. done. I can't be dead. Explosives. Could you imagine shooting this at a seven, shooting on this on a 17 inch screen? Oh, he got, he, go, he got man. slain. He got far. What's the score? You see the entrails of the Wolfman. What an awesome way to freeze the screen. Those, those their intestines are like shooting out of them. Definitely a great horror gun game. Looking at Zombie Raid. And Chiller. Playable now in IRK. Thanks to the Mystery Encoder mod. Game over. 9430. I think he's got you by like a thousand points, Brad. He needed a run here. Let's see. Papa Brad, you have been eliminated. <laughs> I don't, no, this wasn't an elimination, was it? <laughs> no, I'm I just. <laughs> I had I had a really good run. Yeah, a you good did. run. I think it was enough. Was it enough? Someone yeah. added up. I, I don't know if I did points. as well as Brad. 
You did. You got five thousand more than him on the uh, second game, man. Man, I love light gun games. Someone let us know who was victorious in that. Yeah. Everyone, you could turn your cameras back on. Yeah, I'm thinking it had to be you, Brooklyn. Yeah, because she did he had twelve. Yeah, I said yeah, I he needed. He game. needed like around nine thousand. Man, that zombie raid is. Where did that game come from? Right. The, Man, that game is insane, huh? Yeah, that has everything I like. In yeah, it's that, great, man. The, the whole theme of the game, it's hard, too. Those werewolves took me out quick. Like, you, you can't miss them. to try that. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, who won? Did I beat okay, you in so Chiller, too? I think you had a no, higher score in Chiller. You. No, you had a much higher score in Chiller, Brad. I got much higher. I beat you in Chiller, but you beat me in... Uh... Zombie raid. But you know how these games are. We don't know which one. We Some games one give you higher. more scores. So, might not have taken it. We'll see. Someone add it up. I'm trying right know. now. Chiller is a trip. I couldn't figure out what to do on that third level. I think I had to get the I pig. I can't either. To that's go funny, into that I, trap yeah, door. I saw, I saw there's traps that you can shoot. And that's how you get. I kept you have to time it though. Nothing happens. Yeah, you I was opening the trap, the trap door and then the pig wasn't just walking. Yeah. It was going back the other way. Dude. I think you I have mean, to time like, it. You almost have to play it to learn how to play it. To learn where all the tricks are. Alright, so that's my total that's score. Interesting and what was game. Brad's total score? I'm working on that. Alright, we're working on it. This is uh, nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. Nerve-wracking. I think you took me, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, I just started going for points at one point because I knew I was running out of time and chiller. What do you think of those games in the live chat? Like, those two light gun games, they're mm -hmm. both so different, but mm -hmm. fun. Like, chiller is more of like a, a shooting gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chiller, you, you know the story with chiller. Uh, that same company, XD, made a game when they first started. They made a game called Death Race 2000, and you actually run over humans with cars. It was a black and white car game I guess back they in the 70s. A theme so goes, listen, huh? listen, the company was in trouble, Brooklyn. The company was in trouble, and they were like, you know what? Our most one of our most successful games was Death Race, Death Race 2000. So they told the people, go berserk with the with uh, with the concept, make something really controversial. And so that's how Chiller got made. They were like, "Well, we're going for broke," and like it was, it was like what, they went so over the top that I mean, it kind of backfired on them. Yeah, they like, did go over the top. They put it in arcades, and like parents would complain, like you know, I, people want people would want the game pulled. But uh, that, that was that, that just, was the story of how it got made. You know, that just reminds me of like those dock rides at carnivals, like those old yeah, school. That's what reminds I, me I of. love all that kind of stuff. So that would just work out perfect. Like, like a set that house, up at, you know, at a carnival house. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that type of stuff. So uh, seventeen thousand six twenty-five, Brad and uh, Brooklyn at eighteen thousand nine hundred fifty. That's close. All right, Brad. It was close. You did. You did way better in Schiller. With Good your game, score. Brooklyn. Thanks, man. We'll we'll definitely have some more light gun challenges coming up. I have I have Fun. one plan for next week that will be themed as well. All right, it's time for all of us. Is everybody ready? Any anyone scared? Nervous? I mean this is scared. scary. I mean you Yeah, you, I mean let's face it, let's face it. Not many people can beat Nix. Last place this time. Nix is Nix is Nix is Nix comes the rest play. In peace. He's a competitor. We're about to He's get stretching. into this. Knight of the Demons. One quarter challenge. Splatterhouse, let's go. <laughs> we don't know what's getting picked, but we're about to find out. Are let's you ready? It. Yeah, cool. let's go. All right, here we go.
I know it said five will enter and only one will survive, but then there were four. One already didn't make it, so let's eliminate him from the competition. My family has been eliminated. Oh, He's gone. Awesome. Nice. Wow. Are you ready to pick the first game? Let's go. In the go Night of the Demons one quarter challenge. Here we Night go. Of the Demons. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right on the yeah, freaking line almost. Right deck. on the line. It is Splatterhouse. <laughs> so everyone gets Splatterhouse ready. If you're not playing, we don't need the sound from your game. Who wants to take this challenge first? Not me. We played already tonight, so we need a little break here. I, right, I can play. I can play. Do I have it? All right, we're going to bring in steps. So I know, we already know from earlier, once we bring in steps with the gameplay, we're all going to be echoing. Well, no, this is on my arcade, this okay, one game. Okay, so we'll be fine. Yep. Let's bring in steps. All right. Taking on the Night of the Demons one quarter challenge. First game of the night, Splatterhouse. Lowest score meets their doom. We are playing the arcade version of Splatterhouse. This was an awesome game on the Turbo Graphics, but the, the arcade has way more going on in the background. Steps is good at this because she's a huge Turbo Graphics fan. I have no idea what to do with this game. I used to be able to beat this on yeah. Turbo Graphics. I See, knew this, this game, game inside this out. No, this game's no joke. It's freaking hard, man. A couple times I played it, I was like, oh, Lord. It's been so many years for me, so I don't know what to expect tonight. Definitely, if nothing, what could be more war than this, you know? You got the, the Friday the 13th Better mask on there. So when that purple stuff comes spot. out, you have to go up the uh, ladder, huh? Yeah, now you gotta just punch all the guts that fly at you. Step is already, step is already lost stage. Yeah, that thing flew way higher than the turbo version. Ah! Oh, well. There we go. Wow. Oh, wait, I got more. Wait, there's more. Let's get back up. What are the buttons? Punch and kick? Yeah, it's very simple. It's a two button game. Those things kind of remind me of the aliens, uh, the face hunters. Or like the xenomorph when it just is born. Got the bad guy joining us. Welcome to the stream. That purple stuff kills you in one hit. Yeah, that doesn't. Oh. I'm in trouble, man. Steps is steps is already on the second level. Something I don't even know if I've seen it. This game is hard. Yeah, it was luck of the wheel tonight, Brad. Man, this is, I'm I, I'm gonna be in trouble. This is like one of the ones I'm not good at. You know, Brooklyn, maybe this is the lesson. I need to get good at it, you know? I don't give it enough love. I need to give it some of my time. Learn how to play Splatterhouse. You can do a side kick. How do you do that? You press kick while you jump? You 
got green blood. It's because you're in the sewer. Steph's, man, Steph's showing us how this is done. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm not going to make it anywhere near this far. I Pizza guess this up. was a good one to get picked first. Yeah. Because so at least it's wrong last place. Beats their doom, so we have a chance. Look at that. She knew to jump over that thing? This is crazy. Well, this Brad has spikes on it. What else would you do? I mean, Steph's playing I'm like jumping a over that. I'll be hitting it with that stick. Oh, they're coming from both sides now. Man, this is nuts. Brad, I'm surprised you haven't uh, put a lot of time into this game. This is a classic. Yeah, it is a classic. I really need to give it some love. I'm usually really good at these old arcade games. This is one I just haven't really given much attention. The first two are, are similar. The third one completely mixes it up. I just got this entire series on the Evercade on the two Namco cartridges. I mean, I'm good at classic games. Uh, when At Games had that contest, I was good enough to get in uh, two of the two of the top spots. And they did Burger Time, Space Invaders, and uh, Elevator Action. Steps is racking up the points. Man, Steps is showing how it's done. This is great that she got to go first because this is some good gameplay. And this this game does not play around. It will kill you like. All right, this like, is the haunted room. Full of full of cheap deaths. Full of easy deaths. Look at that. The whole room's attacking steps. She's gonna get hit by the chair. That's it. That's, That's it. Fire, man. Wow. Good run. That's amazing. I'm going to post it in the chat. I saw the score. Tell you what, I never get that far. 20,700. All right, Nick, get your game ready. You're up next. All right, we'll bring in Nick's. Let's see what Nick's can do in this. So... I don't, I haven't really played the arcade game, but like the Turbo Graphics game is almost yeah. arcade perfect. So that's how that came about. Yeah, it's very close. It's just a little less detail going on in the background. Yep. Yeah. The, I think the worms in the end of the first stage were a little bit faster, went a little bit further, or the placement was just slightly different. Stuff that was a little bit different. That's all I knew. All right. Score to beat. 20,700. Nix is playing this on his ad games. Now, back in the day when this came out on Turbo Graphics, this game was. Um, like, this was, like, the game that sold the system because it was, like, uh, you know, parents did not like this game either. Man, he got really close to those spikes. This game was the reason I bought a Turbo Graphics. Yeah, I remember my, my friend that had the Turbo Graphics told me, this is the reason why you could get a Turbo Graphics Splatterhouse. And then, uh... Genesis got it after, uh, like, Turbo lost momentum. 
You didn't, you didn't see this stuff. They don't do this stuff on Nintendo. <laughs> Oh, Nyx gets eaten by one of the, looks like, intestines. I think the pattern in the turbo version was a little bit more predictable. I don't know. I, just, I mean, I just wasn't used to it. Looks like Nyx has found a good spot to stand in. Yeah. Oh. Nope, oh, not for long. Though. No, there's no perfect spot in the arcade version, I found out. All right, let's see how well Nyx does here. Make it as far as you did, Steps. Looks like it. I mean, he's pretty. He's a pretty good player at every game he plays. So, I won't he's be surprised. Down one life. It's like Brad's practicing in the background. You could see a big difference. If you went to the Turbo Graphics version of this and checked it out, there's a lot more going on. A lot more gore, too. Yeah, I, the Turbo Graphics definitely did a really good job, especially for the day. They did a really good, a lot of really good arcade ports. You know, obviously, you know, it's the same stuff with Ninja Spirit. Ninja yeah. Spirit's a lot better on arcade, but like considering that the Turbo Graphics had two 8 bit processors. And it wasn't a true 16-bit console. It has some amazing arcade ports. Ninja Spirit was a lot easier on Turbo Graphics than the arcade version. Well, yeah, because it gave you like five lives, and 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 like, or it gave you multiple hits. Something about it. Yeah, the arcade one, it was like one hit, and you're like gone or something. Yeah. Yeah. Nix is doing well, making his way through the sewers, and he loses another life. I think this one may be down to uh, who's leaving the competition early tonight. It's going to probably be between uh, Papa Brad and I. Yeah, you don't know, man. It's going to get. It's going to be close. He's getting close to your score. Well, I know. I, I'm not surprised. I knew. I figured he would. He's the best gamer of all of us, honestly. Depends on the game. I've I've beat him a few times. He's gonna he's gonna beat the score. He's we'll see. He's there. It matters how well he does in this last room. That last room sucks. <laughs> I think I've beaten this room a couple times, but it's it's not fun. One more heart. Looks like you may take this one, Steps. Still keep the yep, lead. Yeah, he did. He ends with... What do you end with that? 22... 22,400. Nyx takes the lead. Let's kill Nix's sound. Brad, you ready to do this? Brad's lost in his own world right now. Brad! 
Ah, there he is. Wait, why did he just give himself nine credits? <laughs> you only need one, Brad. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Brad's giving us the good sound. That was the first time I ever played that game. I can't believe you never played Splatter Splatterhouse, Nick. I've never played this before. I've heard about it. Yeah, that second that second boss is no joke. Brad takes a hit. Got a duck. At the last second, kicks the bat. Now, I don't know if this is a good strategy, avoiding the bats without killing them because he's uh, going to have a lower score. All right, Brad makes it past the first scene. Brad found the spot. Yeah, that same one. But you can't stay. You can't stay. You gotta move. It's like when you go, you do that for so long, and then you have to have the timing to move. That's what I. It happened to me. It happened to Nick. It happened to Brad. Oh, Brad's falling apart. You haven't seen me play yet, so. You played this game before, though. I know. You, ob you, are, you are obviously owned it. He's racking up some points on dying in this level, though. I might actually look at this. He's racking up points by, by just staying and dying in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's working. It's all yeah. about survival. Yeah. You need the points to survive. It's a good strategy. Maybe it was an accidental strategy. Who knows? Get the key. It's a wrench. I think I'm screwed. I think I think I'm screwed. Well, I don't know. He's got one hard. It's gonna be. I think he got it. He did. He did it by dying at that boss. <laughs> Get all the points on those worms. That's a good strategy. He's gonna beat Nyx? No, no, did he? Or did he? He just close. He tied me. He tied you. Alright, it's a tie. So I have to. Let's bring up step score. I have to beat 20,700 to stay in this.
strat, man. You had a good strategy. You just die and get points on the boss. Yeah, that was, that was a strategy. Die at that, uh, with all those enemies spawning. Was that an accidental yeah. strategy or was it totally intentional? Totally strategy. Uh, yeah. Snaps, I was impressed with you rolling through the game. That was incredible. Hey, we're all good, man. I, I, I would have, if I would have known that, I would have died and just kept playing that damn boss. <laughs> Well, no, that's the, kind of the problem going first, right? I always enjoyed watching you play this on the Turbo Graphics. Uh, oh, you saw me play it on the. You yeah, probably did see me play it on the Turbo Graphics. I did. This is a tough one, man. There's a lot of stuff that shows you. You have to do levels, I think. Great game. Have you seen that? Of this game ever steps? No, no. It's a hard-ass game. How many levels? Does it have a lot of levels? Mm, I'll look it up. I think it's like seven. It's such a bizarre theme. It's like a little bit Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, there's whole seven of, levels. A whole lot of like, uh, like horror. horror. <laughs> Just got 26 in one. <laughs> this part reminds me of Kung Fu Master with the kicks. That is pretty cool. That boss, the other boss is tough. You could find this nice safe spot. Yeah, the cool second you boss. Got the you can have it in the house for the time. You can or whatever. Now, do you have to get to kill the cherry first? We're getting devoured. This is last life? Yep. Yep. He's gotta get through it. Oh boy, he's gotta get through it. Upset. Fifteen thousand four hundred. I thought Brooklyn, you'd be better than this at this game. Wow, brutal! What a this brutal is, game. This game's up your alley. The game does not play. Wow. Can't believe we lost Brooklyn. Man, we lost Brooklyn! Oh yeah, I gotta switch Not my Brooklyn. camera. Oh, get my camera going. Where'd Brooklyn go? There I we am, lost back. Brooklyn! Oh my goodness. No way, it's Devil's World? Or is it Demon's World? Devil World, huh? Who's going first? No, you're, it's Demon's World. I got Demon's World. Am I going first, or what? You can go first. Yeah, you go first. Keep the same order. Okay. Alright, let's bring in steps. On this one, I'm going to have to mute everybody's mics to avoid echo. Let's see how well Steps can do in Toll Plans, Demon's World.
I'm not, I'm too, not sure too sure how you, how you do that, do that uh, uh, double, double jump. jump. Right, forty two seven hundred. I didn't. It might have worked out to my favor because since I started jumping, I started taking a lot more damage. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. You know, I haven't played the game before, but it's uh, it, it plays a lot like Ghostbusters on the Sega Genesis, but uh, obviously it's got the double jump.
Brad finishing up with 32,750. So that is the score that Nix is going to have to beat. If he wants to stay in the Night of the Demons. Record a challenge. All right. Kill Brad's mic. He switches over and let's bring in Nix. Nix, if you want to survive, you need to beat. 32,750. Uh, was this game not officially on the iArcade, or was it? It was officially on iArcade. It was? Yeah. Okay. It was one of the games that I like passed on for a while and then when they you know when they used to have their holiday sales I picked it up and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's like a cool part of the whole Total Clan history of games. Ooh, ringing the bell. Nix finds a secret. He's getting himself he just got himself like like 1,600 points there, hitting that bell. You didn't get as far as Brad, but you had more points than him. The same, same thing that happened with Splatterhouse, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except in reverse. <laughs> I was kind of playing the, like, take my time and chill approach, I think. And it just kind of ended up working out, I guess. That was my approach with uh, Splatterhouse, but look what happened to me. Well, yeah, I think I made the mistake of Splatterhouse of going first, but... On his first life, Nyx is already closing in on the score that he needs to be. Finding that little bell trick really helped him out. Damn, he just got it right there. It's gonna come down to Nick's first steps. Can Nick can steps beat Nick's? He could have an upset tonight. Man, Nix is, I Nix never. Nix is, is kind of <laughs> like our beef Bobby Flay. You know what my whole goal was? I was like, pick Splatterhouse first, so maybe I could hang in and not lose first. You know? And then after that, I'd probably, you know, gone. But well, no, got, I'm, got, I'm still in it. Games left. You got some good games. It's not over till it's over, Steps. No, it's not. We definitely we, can you know. take this and win. Yeah, we have two really good games left. We Demon two Front. Of, two of the best games are coming up. Well, don't and doesn't Devil World. so. Do you play both games or what? Because there's only two well, people left, we, right? It was originally supposed to be five. Five. Minutes. So I guess we have one more game. Depending yep. on the wheel picks. Let's get the wheel picks. What do we got left? We got Demon Front and uh... and Devil World. Devil, Devil World okay. is is almost Hard. like a, a gauntlet style game okay. from Japan. Yeah, that's a good one. Shotgun Sean says Boogie Wings. Yep, Shotgun Sean, you're right. There's never a bad time not to play Boogie Wings. Boy, Nick just makes games look so easy, doesn't he? Just watch him play in this. It's like insane. It this game easy. doesn't let up either. No, man, it's no and joke. And you can get these cheap deaths from these falls, too, while you're yeah. trying to fight off the enemies. This 
character design is crazy. It kind of looks like Trump. Pretty much, orange right? hair. <laughs> orange hair. <laughs> Wow, could anyone at home beat this score on, on one quarter? I don't think the soundtrack's broken. I think that's just a glitch from the streaming from the app at games. This game has good sound. Yeah, that's all that is. That It's that's a, not, a setting. It's a setting of StreamYards. He doesn't have something turned off that he needs to turn off, probably. He's apparently played this before. Yeah, you know. No, think? he never played it. No, I mean, the thing is, like, for him, it might be just pure talent. Because I'm telling you, like... If he doesn't beat you on the first game, he'll, he'll take you out on the second one if he gets a chance to play it. Because he observe, he's a real observant when he plays it. He's in his zone right now. He's in his zone, man. This is, this is why, you know, there's a can you beat next. It makes it look easy, but it's not. Look at them bouncing boulders. Man, that's a strange pattern there too, right? Yeah, the pattern got Look at his score though. 84,800. He smoked us. It wasn't even close. Absolutely dominated. Dominated. Dude, I'm goners, Brooklyn. Wow. You have to kill me. Just like that. Just you like have to that. Say goodbye. Just to like Papa that. Brad. Oh! Bye, Brad. <laughs> Right. We are ready to pick the final game. Final game. Of the night of the demons one quarter challenge. It can only be one sole survivor. Who's going to take it? Steps Gaming or Nyx? What game will be the deciding factor? Let's find out what game they're going to be playing. It is Devil World. This is a hard one. Here we go. So Steps is up first. I'm working on it, bringing it up. Bring Steps in. I'm going to mute all Good of my mics. Oh, I only need one credit. Okay. Oh, are we supposed to be muted? This one has that gauntlet feel to it. Well, Steps doesn't have gameplay oh. volume up. Oh, yeah. She has two players on the that. field? Who's that second player? I think I think Steps started a two-player game. By accident? Okay. Yep. Well, that's going to make a difference. He won't be able to advance, right? Because of that other Might player. Not. Steps, you want to start over since you started a two-player game? I didn't even know how I did that. I just pressed start. Yeah, you, start. Should, you should start over because yeah, that's that because you, you're you're because you're, you're going to be impeded. hindered. You're, you're not hindered gonna be by able this. To... Yeah, he, he can't advance the screen because of that other player. Okay, so what the hell? How is that even possible? I, only have I have no idea. You just restart the ROM and see what happens. Yeah. All right. What are you playing on, Steps? Fight, fight, Cade. Here's what we'll do. Close that. Test game. Move over. You didn't have sound on that last play. No? no. Okay. Hold on. Present screen. Let's see if you get sound this time. Share screen. I see what happens. I'm selecting sound, and then it when I select the other screen, it, it turns it off. So there you go. 
All right, if Frank steps in, gonna have to mute us so we don't cause echo. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Oh man, that's crazy. Fifty nine five hundred. All right, fifty nine five hundred. Nick's better be careful because you will fall off the cliff. There he goes. Off the cliff. Now you see there below, you can you can switch out weapons as you get them. That was something that you weren't doing, Steps. I was trying to figure out the button. 
And there's also a, a map button so you can see where the key is. So there's two versions of this game. Uh, Devil World is the Japanese version. And then um, you have the American version under a different name. I think it's uh, Dungeon something. And the, the Japanese version is way better. You start out with better weapons. That guy's big, but he's not that strong. either but if you just keep taking out their hives you can you know control the flow of them a bit more those big guys will keep coming out every once in a while they they look intimidating but you could take them out pretty quick Nix has the key But be ca be careful at the edge of that cliff. Nix has to beat fifty nine thousand five hundred. Just like that, it's over for Nyx. Nyx has been eliminated. Holy crap! And the winner! <laughs> I win! Oh my of gosh! The of the demons won the quarter <laughs> challenge. Give it up for Steps Gaming. <laughs> Dang, what a shocker. Steps. What a shocker. Thanks, man. What I, I, That game was hard, man. It's hard to figure out. I knew it was hard. I was like, please, don't pick that game. And then we picked the game, Never and I was like, it. damn it. And then I just... Got in your favor. I was it actually, did. I was actually hoping that one got picked first, because I would have had a chance. Because awesome. I'm pretty decent at it. I've made it to the third world. Congratulations, Steps. You've beaten Nyx. Thanks. Wow. I played every single consent. game tonight for the first time. Every single one. <laughs> you did really well in Demon's World. You that did is really a, well. A that 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 game, so that last surprised. game is that last game is is hard. Yeah, we have this one on the wheel, man. Demon Front. What a great game. One of us has to play Demon Front tonight. We should save it, Brooklyn. Should we save it? No, I, th I think I want to play it. Okay, why don't you play a little bit of it? Now, so you've got good Demon sound, Front good on the I Arcade definitely does not play as well as it does on the At Games, but I'm not hooking up my At Games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one run of Demon's Front on the I Arcade. Do a one quarter run. Mm. What a win for Steps Gaming tonight! Congratulations, Steps. Thank you. You are the winner. You survived. <laughs> All right, I'm switching over the game audio. Okay. I'm going to run through one game of Demon Front to show it, looks it off. looks like Splatterhouse. This is the Splatterhouse. <laughs> there we go.
Game over! Wow. That's awesome. No, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Um, that looks like it could be a Metal Slug game. Yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't. That game is known not to run that well in main, but if you play that on your at games, it runs butter smooth. There you go. There's an example of a game that runs better on at games than on arcade. That, is that That's a game? The one that does. Mm -hmm. Is that a game that was never in the arcade then? Um, I think it was an arcade. It was. It's a Japanese game. It was one of my ten most wanted games for the arcade. Early on, when I when I put out my video, Brooklyn, how there. many? How many of your 10 most wanted games actually are on the IRK now? Well, now they all, all are, except for Xeno Crisis. So, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a night. Oh, crazy. At least I took the light gun challenge tonight. I know. At least I didn't get taken out first. Yeah, what a great night of gaming. I hope that um, we introduce some people in the audience to a, a couple of new games that they might want to try out. Try to beat at least Nix's score or a step score in some yeah. of those games. Yeah. But yeah, definitely Demon Front. If you haven't played that one, that one I that's highly phenomenal. Yeah, that's recommend. Phenomenal. And if you're into the Gauntlet style, Devil World, uh, if you just want you just want to Get uh, play a game that's gonna make you rage quit. <laughs> Demon's World. Uh huh. Demon's World. And Splatterhouse. I mean, it's a, it's a classic. I know. It was awesome. All right. It was awesome, and it was uh, an awesome night here tonight on the Friday night arcade show. Unfortunately, I did not survive the uh, <laughs> Night of the Demons one quarter challenge. Congratulations again to steps gaming and thank you so much also steps nicks and papa brad for an awesome time tonight and thank you for hanging out with us in the live chat room tonight uh ho hope you found a couple of new games to play and we'll see what we can put together next friday i have a, a couple of ideas up my sleeve <clears throat> i've been going with the the themes for the past two weeks i, I think we'll keep that going until the uh the next game fight starts gives us some practice working on trying to get the in and out of the games as fast as possible and supply some good audio i think we did we we improved this week over last week right brad and that's oh absolutely that's all that yeah 100 percent 100%, Definitely man. better this it's week than better, last week. Way better. We had game I didn't sound. play Bubble Bobble once. We, we upped the game, Brooklyn. We upped the yeah. game. We we killed off Bubble Bobble right at the beginning, the opening of the show. Yeah, that was awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Steps. Thanks again, Nix. Thank you, Papa Brad. I'm Brooklyn Menace. This was the Friday Night Arcade Show, the late night show for the home arcade community. We will see you again. Same bat time. Same bat channel next Friday night, 10.45 p.m. Looking forward to it already. I'm excited to see what we're going to come up with, what games we'll be playing against each other next week, what kind of twists and turns we can make on the gaming competition. But until then, what should they do, Brad? Stay legit. <laughs>